Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This video we're going to have a look at this new Windows 10 Redstone 2 build 14946 for mobile. There's a PC version available and I've got a separate video of that. When it comes to the phone, there's actually less changes throughout than on the PC versions. Uh, but I will mention that you can now have a separate timeout setting uh, when you're using Continuum. And uh, I've not got Continuum currently running on this phone, although it does support it, but I'm not going to set up at the moment. Um, so what that means is you'll be able to turn off whichever screen you're not using with Continuum. So, for example, uh, you're working up on the on the on the monitor on the monitor like that, and you can turn this screen off, the phone itself, save the battery, and just the display is up on the phone, uh, up on the the big screen. So have a look at that in the setting personalization and lock screen, and uh, you'll see that. Um, there's a couple of changes to the Wi-Fi settings. I don't know whether we'll uh, particularly see those on there around the timing out of it. If I, I turn the Wi-Fi off, you can select that when it comes back on. Um, that's definitely there from the um, Windows Phone 8.1 days, I think. I uh, didn't think it wasn't available, but it's obviously this is there. Microsoft called this out as a new feature, so uh, it must be it must be new. Um, a couple of things that's going to happen. Um, auto correct has been changed slightly in text. Let me just see if I can uh, give you an example. Now, what Microsoft say in the auto that's changed in the auto correction is, as you're typing a word, the one in bold. If you choose this, the second one should be the one that's it, you actually typed. Let me. Uh, Let's have a look. So I start typing. So it's, it's picked up. It's picking up the words correctly. Well, let's uh, let me. To, okay, so there you go. So what Microsoft says changed with this autocorrect. I've just tried loads of words to get this to work, but as you type the word, the word in bold is the word that it thinks you have, and the one next to it is the one you actually typed. And if you pick that one, it'll learn that one, and then it'll have that in future. So, um, so it kind of helps learning what you're typing um, on the screen. Not a very good example, perhaps there. You've also got the option to remove a, a remove, a, remove a word from the dictionary as well, um, which is good. So there you see that's going to add the word in there and the, if I add it in and there's a minus sign to take it back out again. So that's the custom dictionary. So that's a nice little fix. They've changed the automatic backup frequency as well um, to once a week. So there you go, nice little change. Some other think fixes with mobile, they fixed an issue uh, where text messages wouldn't send, they fixed an issue where um, the rater wouldn't work and they fixed a the WhatsApp issue as well. Uh, the full notes are on the um, on the release notes on the digitallifestyle.com and there are no known issues as well for phone. So on the phone you can go right back to the very first previews on our YouTube channel and you can see some of the builds have significance changes, some of them doesn't but uh, uh, this has been very good. The previous build for me um, had a bit of battery drain and so far it's hard to tell because I've only just installed it, but it seems okay. It seems to be working fine. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.